Take four complete strangers. Invite each to host their perfect dinner party. Unnecessary, annoying, ridiculous. Ask them to score in secret. You are even funny and you're a comedian. You're not intelligent and you want to be a teacher. And watch tensions rise. All in a bid to win a 10,000 Rand prize. in the northern suburbs of Cape Town. Table Mountain looms large over the city and it was recently voted one of the seven wonders of nature. Another wonder of nature is Debbie van Niekerk. She once owned a strip joint and it seems she hasn't quite retired. I flash. I flash on a good day. I flash on a bad day. Um, just my boobs though, not anything else. But I keep the brown because I've got really long kahunas. Best keep those kahunas to yourself. And I just like... <laughs> Contestant 2 also likes an audience, stand-up comic Martin Evans. The nature of my job has given me a little bit too much time to spend not actually working. I haven't had a proper job in 10 years. I'm out of touch with reality. I talk too much. I get paid to talk rubbish. You're not the only one, mate. Contestant number 3 may be able to keep order. Hebrew Gordon, a maths teacher with some very unconventional beliefs. I fully believe that aliens exist. What?! There's no question, no doubt, and I would love to have a full conversation on it. Well, the other two are pretty out there, but aliens? We've probably had aliens here already. They're probably too shy to come say hello, to, to come say hello, that's all. Maybe they'll make a guest appearance at dinner tonight. They could learn something from the first host, as she's studying to become a teacher too, Tamrin Kalitz. I am opinionated, opinionated, fun, crazy, don't care what people think of me. I love jawling. Jawling? Is that on the syllabus now? And especially when I drink, I just have fun. I've got lots of alcohol. I'm going to force alcohol down their throats. Hopefully they drink, or if they don't, then I'll just put a drip in them when they're not looking. I have a feeling I'm going to be a lot younger and they're going to be a lot older, but then again, I'll just shut them down if they say anything horrible to me. Interesting hosting style. Enough of that, time to concentrate on Tamarin's menu. Bacon and butternut soup with homemade croutons. It's what poor people eat, and uh, I've been poor for a long time, so I've eaten a lot of it. Soup for a starter. Uh... Careful, she'll shut you down. Oh, crap. I forgot there was pips in a butter. <laughs> Looks like home economics is not her subject. It's disgusting. I don't even think people do this anymore. I think they just buy it chopped up. I'm doing it like the slave way here. Seeds dispatched, butternut cubed, she places on a baking tray with bacon, ready for roasting. First job of the day done, Tamarin decides to treat herself to the first drink of the day. Is that wise? If I have someone here that says I don't drink, I'll say, well, I have water for you with a little bit of vodka. <laughs> yeah, you may want to concentrate on the food instead. The main is grilled ginger king clip on coriander mash. I think that they'll like it, hopefully, because everyone likes fish. I'm not comfortable with seafood. Any fish I really eat is a uh, hike. So not everyone likes fish. Fish and mash is not a combination. And not everyone likes mash. Oh, I'm getting like a workout. And I love coriander and I love mash. And I love grilled and I love ginger. So, oh, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. Kind of. Finally, a positive response. Could dessert be heavenly too? Chocolate fondant with vanilla cream and strawberries. I only do chocolate when I'm PMS. Otherwise, I don't. I don't do chocolate. I don't like chocolate. Too much information, thanks. It's right up there with the snot, is little on the simple side. If you take it to a crash, they'll probably enjoy it most. I'm actually cooking some hard dishes, so hopefully they get scared. How old is this person that made this menu? He doesn't look scared or impressed. Somebody that only learned to cook a few years ago? Maybe so, but this host's now ready for a quick change. Hopefully there's some pretty people and some friendly, flirty people. Check it out. 
baby. Go get more than your bargain for, Martin. Tamlin's donned some evening hot pants to greet her guests and has a quick shot to steady the nerves. Easy does it. Well, I think I'm dressed for success, and you never know, I could get a boyfriend out of this. Yes, possibly. First in, alien admirer Hebrew. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Tamron. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Hebrew. Hebrew. OK, come in, please. I'm sorry that I was so stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm young and... <laughs> no, yes. not you old. Sorry, I didn't mean that. When I walked in and I saw Tamron, I was in awe, OK? She was... Damn hot. I thought he was a Jehovah's Witness for a second. Just for you. Oh, I didn't thank know you. Didn't flowers. I no, didn't I like you. this. Oh, I okay, like no. one. Thank you. And vodka. Next in, funny man Martin. Hi. I'm Martin. I'm Tavern. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Hi. So Do you live here alone? Yes, I live alone. Nice. Wow, you know, well, well, well done. You, you're certainly not struggling in life. I'm studying to be a teacher. Studying to be a teacher. Why did I... I are you what sure? What type of tone was that? Enjoy it now, girl, because this isn't what you'll have on a teacher's salary. <laughs> I'm so happy that she's, she's going to follow in my footsteps. Um, but she'll probably, after a couple of years, maybe change her mind. <laughs> are you sure you look you're like to... you make more money than a headmaster does, possibly, at the moment, but... Uh... I'm only kidding. I have no idea what, what do you teachers mean? make. Teachers are wealthy. This is a very nice flat. That's what it is. Beautiful flat. I fortunately have parents who will provide for me while I study. So he is a fool for thinking that. It's actually really rude. I'm sorry, but I'm getting angry now because he should stop saying that, that stuff. She's slurring already. Still, cover up. Here's Debbie. Hi. 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 Yes. Cheers, cheers, doll. Nice to meet you all. I'm spending Dad's money. I'm only at university. Nothing really matters. Let's have a tequila. I've been in, like, many industries. I've been in the strip industry. The strip industry? Debbie is so... I'm a stripper, whatever. You know, she doesn't care. <sighs> Sorry, I need to breathe. I feel a little bit sick. I think I need some more schnapps for all of us. I think it's a good idea, sister. Don't you think you need one less? You need, still need to cook twice? No, I can, I can do it. <laughs> this, is a, <laughs> this is a sipping schnapps. This is down it. Thank you. The host is a bit plastered. OK, I'm going to go start on the starters now. So you guys OK here? I think we're good. Okay. We're good. Thanks, darling. I'm very drunk right now. Yes, and they've noticed. <laughs> Easy with the sauce, Tamron. Oh, good grief. One of the advantages the rest of us have is that we haven't been drinking the whole day. And perhaps, looking at the rest of us, we may have an ability to hold our alcohol just a little bit better. I'm so hungry. It's because I've been drinking so much, that's why. Yes, now would be a good time to stop drinking. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Everything so far has made me want to play little games with her. And I think I will. I don't think she'll even notice your game playing, Martin. Right, enough of this. It's a food competition. It's time to get your starter out. There it is. Butternut and bacon soup. Oh, it's pretty solid looking. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I remember. I don't know how to really cook. Don't tell him that. Blimey, someone needs to take it easy with the pepper. Is that you, Hebrew? That's enough already. Yeah. Can I have the black pepper, please? <laughs> it was horrible. What do you think? Very nice. Really? Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Honestly? Yes, very nice. It's not so soupy, but it wasn't meant to be that way. I understand you. I've often gone to restaurants and I ask for like a paste, like something thicker, you know what I mean? I don't want to get too pedantic on the whole concept of soup. If you were to look at soup as a definition, it would probably say fluid based material. I have no cooking clue what she did with the. With the soup, it was just so heavy. It's just wonderful that you can make a line in your soup and it stays there. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a knife and fork to eat a bowl of soup. Oh, that's <laughs> you! <laughs> yes, so rude! 
Hebrews was a little bit rude because he kept on turning his plate up saying it was like purity but the whole I didn't want it to be like a little like a runny runny soup or anything. Oh so it was meant to be inedible. Better luck with the fishy mane. Yeah, I feel a bit sick, but it's fine because... Okay, yeah, it's fine. Please don't be sick on it. The guests already think you're out of control and nobody's looking forward to the main anyway, but here it is. King clip with coriander mash and no sick, thankfully. Thank you, darling. Thanks very much. Just a small one for me, it seems. Oh, there it goes with the pepper again. Did the king clip was raw? <laughs> I couldn't eat it. But your fish is underdone, my darling. Underdone? Mm. No, it's not. It's a baby. Mm. It's kind of raw. But yeah. I'm young. It's like eating sushi. So is your fish. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It's cooked. Show me the pink in the fish. Pink is, is not a is definition it, of uncooked. Go pink. This is not a pink fish. It you is. Cooked this it's fish salmon. Pink. Honestly, the fish was not raw, according to me. Debbie said it was raw, but she was quiet. Oh, that's amazing. Would you mind cooking this more? And I have it. <laughs> I'm being serious. No, you know what? You know what? I like it this way. She obviously needs to learn a lot. She needs to be able to satisfy the guests more than if she needs to satisfy herself. You are actually being so no, man. Good for him. It wasn't cooked. Just to have something to eat, please. I'm sorry, but it's cooked. I was persistent, and eventually I got it right for her to cook the fish. No, cooked. you know what? Make something else cook. If I have to make all the people happy, I will. <gasps> oh my god, it's so. He's just as like, oh, I'm here, bro. I've been around for 80 years. I need my fish to be cooked again. But it really didn't. I'm not a Go, go, cook it. go, girlfriend, go. Cook it, girlfriend. You're doing a good job. That chick is beyond waste. What on earth makes you think she's wasted? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Well, getting the puds in the oven would be a good start, but you may want to time them. Jeez. Oh, she's had a few drinks. I'm not saying she's drunk. She's a state. Let's see what state the host fondants are in. Runny. So that's a good Beautiful. pudding. Perfect. That's what I was going for. That's only what I wanted. I wanted this type of look. Well, it's runnier than the soup. Tuck in chocolate fondants. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh, bloody wait. Thank you very much. You know, she's such a pretty girl. And you're so funny. That's my spoon. <laughs> That's and, you can't cook. and it's a <laughs> chocolate fondant. You Isn't that something hard that goes on a cake? It's not bad. But that goes on a cake. Thank you very much. This was very. Okay. This night was a complete disaster. It's brown. It's runny. It's served in a big porcelain plate. It was terrible. Really bad. Mm. Can I have a chicken oven? Hmm? Yes, you can. <laughs> it could be because I was very hungry. <laughs> but I enjoyed the dessert. I got good reactions from what I saw. Um, Debbie was a little bit drunk, so she took it. Um, Marvin took it. Um, and then the other one already took it. So, yeah, I think I did well. I think I did. The food was a complete disaster. Because of that, I'm scoring her a four. I can only but give her a three. Ta -da! So Tamarin has laid to waste her chances of winning with a record low of 13. The bar has been set and drunk dry. <laughs> Day two, and the contestants are in recovery. I'm feeling... Not very good. But the one thing that's making me feel better is that I know I feel better than she does. I've been vomiting the whole day because 
I drank way too many shooters last night. I just don't think I should have drank so much when I was preparing my food because according to some of them, it wasn't up to standards. I've got a bit of food poisoning, I think. I woke up this morning feeling very ill. And Martin's not the only guest that's woken with a bad taste in his mouth. The food was really not up to scratch, so I'm changing my score from a six to a four. Wowza! So Tamrin's all-time low stoops even lower. Guessing second host Hebrew isn't feeling too pressurised by the competition. Last night was a complete disaster. So tonight, I don't think I'll be able to top last night. <laughs> Nice, Chef Swites. He's clearly taking this seriously. First job of the day are the starters. King prawns, bacon and parmesan on toast. The prawns are sautéed in advance. Prawns, not a big fan of. That looks really, really delicious. Serving toast. It's basically a situation for where I actually want them to grab the toast. Like you will have a slice of bread and eat it yourself. If you say so, Chef Godden's main is filleted barbecued lamb chops, stuffed roast potatoes and fire-roasted Mediterranean veg. I don't like anything on the bone, so it's not going to be nice. Yeah, note to class, it says filleted, which means deboned. Fire-roasted. What else would you use to roast food? <laughs> As opposed to oven-roasted smarty pants, Hebrew is chopping his veg to flame-roast later. Isn't he fast? The meat will also be bride first before it's marinated, then steamed for two hours. I'm picking up that I'm getting a little bit nervous at the moment. <laughs> That's why I need this to just calm me down a little bit. Don't do a tamarin. All looking under control, and the last dish is cinnamon flavoured fried banana served with orange and decanted ice cream. I like my fruit raw. Don't fry my fruit. So he's not making his own ice cream. He should. He's actually not making any of the dessert right now. My dessert I'll do while they're here. With the put being prepared later, the last job is to lay the table. I have a feeling, from what I gathered of me knowing him for a minute of what I remember, he seems quite restricted. It's time for Chef Gordon to change into a basic down-to-earth host. Well, that doesn't sound very glamorous, but I'm betting it won't be shorts. As night falls, our host appears. Now that's a shirt. I wonder where he got the idea for the colour. Don't talk about the weather and don't talk about clothes and don't talk about bra sizes. Aliens is in the top of the list. <laughs> I reckon the first guest would rather talk about bra sizes. It's Martin. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, night. Thank you, yeah. And uh, I wouldn't say, like, good luck with your dinner, but, like, all the best with creating a winning meal for tonight. <laughs> Based on last night. If your cheese cracker alone <laughs> maybe get you the points. Did you notice? Certainly a safer bet than baby food and raw fish. Here's Debbie. Hello, darling. I'm fine. Mm. I thought today about things that went down last night. I think she doesn't. She won't remember. Well, she's remembered to show up. Here's Tamrin. I don't think she remembers. Honestly, honestly. Hello, Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't care. I just laughed. Chilled. Whatever. I'm chilled. They can mock me. I was feeling obviously a bit guilty this morning, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So, they all had fun. Laughing at you. Anyway, here are the prawns on toast and lots of pepper. Thank you. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm. Looks beautiful. It looks divine. I actually really like this. Everything was cooked appropriately, everything was melted appropriately, everything was fresh appropriately, and I enjoyed it. The starter is out of this world. Did she say out of this world? Q Hebrew. I've got this philosophy and belief, and I am 120% convinced right. that aliens do exist. Mm -hmm. They could be, but we'll never know. You will never know. I think we should focus on the simple things. Cooking. You're mostly cooking here. When he started talk, talking about aliens, I was thinking, what the 
एक इफ यू वांट टू मूव फ्रॉम वन गैलेक्सी टू अनदर वन यू नीड टू गो थ्रू अ ब्लैक होल एंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज यू गेट स्ट्रेच्ड नो ओके व्हाट यू डू नो आई गेस यू वुड व्हेन यू गो इन अ ब्लैक होल यू विल डाई फ्रॉम बीइंग स्ट्रेच्ड दैट्स व्हाट किल्स यू यस नो नीड टू स्ट्रेच यू नो You're mocking me. I'm not mocking you. You're mocking me. No, I'm mocking you. It's true. But in that black hole, that's where gravity is zero. Okay. I think that Alan conversation went on for about five hours. hours. He really talks so slow. The chances of you getting back to our galaxy is one in a billion. Okay. I'm, I'm sure I've, I've got some. I made a couple of believers tonight. I'm pretty sure you haven't. Still, the food seems to be faring a bit better. It's time for the main: marinated lamb with fire roasted Mediterranean veg, oh, and stuffed potatoes. Thank you. Thank What you. What a treat, people! This looks good. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much, Hebrew. Ching ching ching. Hebrew deboned the lamb. What was it again? Lamb. I don't know what meat top comes from. No, oh, dairy me. Is it a cow? It wasn't the best meal. It, it gave me enough confidence to think that delicious, but mmm, I can win this next piece. Mm, I certainly can. I think Marvin Martin <laughs> should do some oh, stand-up Marvin. comedy for us. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think you can argue with me now. So just stand up and do it. I think Darren should teach us something. Maybe you're a surgeon. That might stun people. Oh, it's amazing you're a surgeon. But they wouldn't say to you like, cut my arm, stitch it, show me you're a surgeon, remove my kidney. You know what I mean? It means right. you're not a really good comedian if you're not going to show us. It anything. means you haven't got the Let's skill set to be a teacher. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, see, we got a laugh there, so I'm one nil. Have you taught us anything? No, so I'm in the lead. Let's... Aren't stand-up comedians supposed to just stand up and comed... Um... <laughs> comed... I'm not sure. Mine's bad. Let's see if you're funny. You want to see if I'm funny? Stand up. Listen, standing up is not a proof of funny. It's a stand-up comedian. Yeah, stand but I'm, up. I'm... It's a sit-down dinner, but thank you so much for your mature discussion at the table. Stop bickering, children! Hebrew's feeling alienated from the conversation. <laughs> They're all interacting with each other, and I'm the alien on the side. Mm. They were so concerned about him doing stand-up comedy that there was actually no time or opportunity for me to actually go into the conversation. They're still put to prep. Tomorrow night is going to be my turn. They will see how complex, difficult I can make their life for them at, at their place. Hebrew. Yes, Can uh, you bring us a bottle of wine, please? <laughs> because we've fast gone through what you've provided. Um, just the red, please. Thanks. Are you drinking red? Are you all right? Your wine? I'm fine, thank you. You're not drinking much at all. Martin? Yes, sir. Just learn to wait. I'll give you a second wait. Say, lose competitions. He's got that school teacher thing going, yeah. I might be a stand up comic, but right now, he's being a school, school teacher. teacher. I got a bit edgy with Martin, knowing that I'm busy with the dessert, it was a tricky part of it, and him going on calling for wine, wine, wine. But I managed to say nothing and swallow. But I don't have to anymore. So I can't wait for tomorrow. Well, serve up your dessert quick so you can ask him to leave. Fried banana and fruit with shot bought ice cream. Tut tut. I love fried banana. The puppies will love it. The twin peaks of table view. <laughs> <laughs> This is really nice, Gerard. Mm. Michael. <laughs> Hebrew. Hebrew. They really are badly behaved. And now Martin wants to talk about his coming night. I've got a really big garden. Like, it's, it's enormous. Can okay, you go on a freaking Easter egg hunt or something stupid like that? Do you have flat shoes? No. Please don't breathe. I'll no heels flat tomorrow. Shoes. Okay, no heels tomorrow. It's already all about Martin. Maybe, like, eating in the bush or something like that. And I'm surprised he's got a garden. I thought he stayed in an apartment. My night is over now, and beware, that's not going to be fun for them. <laughs> that's fighting talk. On with the scores, please. A 67. I'm going to give you a seven. 
Hebrew's food was amazing, his hosting was amazing, so that's why I'm giving him an eight. So, despite battling to keep their attention, Hebrew has romped in with a whopping score of 22. If only he knew! It's day three, and Martin is driving his home to the range. Yes, he's parking up his camper van and will be serving dinner on the local golf course. That'll keep him guessing. I can imagine him living in like in where your your beds and your kitchen and your bathroom type of place. And I think he'll live in a flat. Not even close. I would reckon he will stay in, a, in an apartment. Probably very tiny. You can probably stand in the front door and just stretch your arm to open the back door. Closer, but you wouldn't want to open the door at speed. I think Martin's trying to throw us all off course. Tamron's going to look at this van and go, oh my gosh, you're white trash and you're homeless, okay? I think Debbie's going to look at this van and go, I've had some good times in vans like this in the past. Martin will be preparing all his meals in the van, but the golf club have loaned him a room to allow his guests more space to eat. His starter is Cape Fisherman's Soup with homemade croutons. I don't like any seafood in a soup form. I'm going to vomit. It won't be the first time. Lovely. People tease me, saying like, dude, seriously, how slow is your car? I'm like, you get it wrong. Does a car normally have a fridge? and a freezer and a microwave, a stove top. <laughs> does a car have a bathroom? No, a car does not. It's not a question of how fast is my car, it's how quick is my house. Thank you very much. Over here, this is just gonna continue reducing. <laughs> she looks ridiculous. How am I gonna serve that? As it's soup, bowls are recommended. The main is lamb and milk stout pie poiky. I've never liked poiky. Never, ever. When the milk starts shortly, that'll all become... I don't know what milk stout is. But it's booze! Put more milk stout into there. Maybe it's like a powder form of milk. Milk stout is, you know, that dark beer with a, with a white foam on it. The milk stout does tenderise it, it flavours it. I like milk stout. Love meat, any meat. Meat is meat and a woman must eat, and I like my meat. Not doubting that. Back with Martin, and while his pointy stews in a pressure cooker, he plays a spot of golf. You'll need a hole in one to beat Hebrew. Oh, yeah. Bad luck. <laughs> Carefully does it. Last hot dish of the night will be a deep fried dessert chocolate fat cook, banana, and deep fried ice cream. What's up with these men and bananas? Do they have size issues? No, but he does have rising issues. With his dough, that is. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. Done. Done. I'm just going to go and check the internet and make sure somebody else has described the dough as super sticky. I need to mess up his night, otherwise there's going to be a problem for me. Bye-bye. I'm going to make him spin like a helicopter. He's not going to know what it is. Uh-oh, someone's still sulking. Let's do this. I'm nervous now. With good reason. Hebrew set on sabotage is first in. You're kidding me. Come with me. Next up, Tamrin. I would have never in a million years pictured this. Nice house you have here. Thank you very much. Shame, so I don't know if he actually owns a house. Eyes right, Debbie. Dinner first. Because everybody's having it at their houses, and I just thought, what the hell's he doing here? Love your home. Thank you so much. Way bigger than mine. Hey. Hello, Angel. The introductory drinks went rather well. Uh, they all went, way the van. No one seemed freaked out. What's the chances, bud, that we're going to go like... I hadn't thought of this. If you break up. my van... <laughs> I will be homeless if you break this. <gasps> Sit over here. Please sit over there, please. Listen, I was scared that we were all going to end up sitting around this little table and having dinner here. That petrified the hell out of me, but I'm very glad he'd set up a table inside there. More space for Hebrew to misbehave. Did I have something stronger than this, please? I have uh, spice gold. That'll work. OK. Um, what can we chase it with? Cola? No. What do you normally put in spice gold? Lemonade. Okay. Spice gold and lemonade. And ice? No, ice, that's asking a bit too much. I think lemonade was being cheeky as it was, but if you want ice, fine. I'll get you ice too. He's making this difficult. He's making this difficult. Hebrew's in a bit of a mood tonight, isn't he? Woo! Someone's taking an excited pill. Sorry for this. Yes, is it dirty? Yeah, I'm in. I shall fire the staff. 
It's okay, we'll just do this. That's dirty. <laughs> Four fingerprints on there, though. Five, actually. Perfect. It's just the right amount. So far, my requests have involved running off to go fetch him lemonade, uh, ice, that's understandable, but complaints about the side plates now. They're not my side plates. They are from a restaurant. No, there's more. For now, ignore him and crack on with the starter. And this night is starting off very badly. <laughs> If you have anything to do with it, despite the interruption, starter is served. Cape fisherman soup with curdled cream. Is it clean enough? Uh, I think so. There we are, sir. Cheers. Thank you. Always ready, Martin. Thanks, love. Would you like more cream? No, it's OK. No, what? man. I would like some more. Would you like more cream? Yes, please. After I've got your drink, maybe. Or would you like it first? I'm just trying to... I think he sees competition. Uh, I'll tell you what, just stop. So is this like a salmon piece with broth? I'm going to stop you there because I need cream for later. He just wanted to unnerve him. That's all it was. I love that Hebrew is so demanding. Ginger, must we not cut our own bread? No, of course not. That is your own loaf. If you want to cut it, it's up to you. And I think that's just bad manners coming out. I don't know. I don't want to sound... Um... Difficult, yes. obnoxious, yeah. annoying, yeah. difficult. I think we covered that one. Carry on, yeah. Can you warm this for a moment? Yeah. I need to get Martin to a stage where he starts losing control. And do me a favor, don't spit in it. Just, just for the record. You would assume that I would spit in it. <laughs> People might think that I'm a nasty person. I'm not. I'm just a mathematician that knows what not to do and what to do to be able to, to, to win. And then, sorry, man, uh, pepper and salt will be nice. <laughs> Let me heat this up. I'll go do that before I have to go and heat everybody else's up. Is that right? Thanks very much. I'll be back in a minute. Cheers. Martin just puts a smile on his face and just does it, but I know he's very angry. <sighs> Fortunately, I have a microwave in this magical little culinary palace. He's taking the strain, eh? You'll have to excuse me, I've got to go and serve Jabba the Hutt. Oh, I like the way you put your soup. Thank you. <laughs> One warm soup whilst the rest have gone to freezing. There we Let's go. hope that'll shut him up. And I've brought you a range of salts because I, I, I know you can be quite fussy. The so demands were nothing. Now yeah, Hebrew's employing really dirty table. tricks. <laughs> Outrageous behaviour. What is that? It's this part of the soup. Inside the piece of meat, there appears to have been a worm. How <laughs> <I'll know. laughs> But it's microwaved. Good man. Don't make it worse, Tamarin. <laughs> I felt very, very sorry for him. Because it's very embarrassing if you're hosting a dinner and you, you know. You're trying to get points here. It was the, probably the funniest thing I've ever seen, but Marston looked like he was going to cry. Do you want to farm it? Ah, that's pretty surf. A worm was in the salmon. No, Martin, don't believe him. It's not your fault. Yeah, Smear okay. it around on the table. <laughs> I don't know how you guys managed to eat this. I felt really bad. You're not the one who should be feeling bad. Grubs up, mint, lamb, pie, poiky. I hope this is a little, well, I say a little, I hope it's significantly better than the starter. And it was a bit burnt. Tasted charcoal-y. It tasted a bit coal-y, though, like charcoal. Sounds like he brews up the pepper again. It's not quite what I was wanting to cook. From bad to worse, and now possibly the final straw. Okay. Mm hmm I can find a good fit. You have what, sorry? He's going to confess something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, guys, I'm so sorry. What did you...? That's probably one of my practical jokes. Did you put the worm into the I food? I put the worm into the soup. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I felt a bit threatened about the menu, and I knew I had to do something to be able to get the focus off his food, spoil it a little bit. I actually feel very bad about it. You should. I know. You should feel utterly terrible because what you've done is you've ruined my night. Malicious, unnecessary, annoying, 
ridiculous, frustrating. There's many singular words I could use to describe it right now, but uh, I'll, I'll stick mostly with unnecessary. So I thought that was quite a skanky move. It wasn't very decent. It wasn't a practical joke. It was a douche move. And I'll accept it, your apology. Uh, I, I, but seriously, way out of order, Brew. Way out of order. I don't mind you not enjoying the food. That's understandable, because that's your choice. But to sabotage my night like that is a bit of a douche thing to do. I'm, I'm so sorry. I okay. hate to feel very bad. You should do, frankly. You're not apologising. You're just telling me what you did. And now I've got to sit and seethe and deal with you for the rest of the night. I never expected that of him, of Hebrew, to do something like that. But it was really funny at the same time, though. Nobody else is laughing. I don't want to do this to you again. But the pussy does is a bit but Hebrew, even Martin can be pushed too far. Watch yourself. I apologise. It is a bit burnt. It caught on the edge of the pan. Come and sit inside. We're quite tired now. We want our dessert. Are you tired and you want your dessert? You're coming in. Take a seat. We made friends again and things are okay between the two of us. I've given up on it. Uh... What have you given up on? <laughs> Why have you given up? I didn't have a proper starter. Yeah, but you ruined your starter. You put a worm in it. Yes, okay. You put okay. a worm okay. in your starter. You're lucky you got a main. <laughs> Why do you have any issue telling me that you put a you put a worm in your starter? You want to complain about your food? Your luck actually get out of my van. I will cook. No, seriously, get out. You stay. You stay. You leave. Martin, Martin. You sit there. You, you so burned my mane also. I burned your mane. And you know what? If you stay in here where you are, I might burn you too. Well, so fuck. get out. <laughs> There's a lot of tension at the moment between um, Martin and Hebrew. Hebrew just laughs it off, but Martin is very furious. For you to come into my home and tell me that I ruined your starter when you put a worm in it, it's tantamount to a revolution. And the revolution says, good night. I'll bring you your dessert, but you're not welcome in my van. Martin's very angry, I think. Very angry. So, why is it because of me that it's past midnight? It's not past I midnight. I haven't served that dessert yet. So how could you... Oh. Watch your step, Hebrew. That man's outside my van, and that was the important part. Still one dish to deliver. <laughs> this is not going to end in deep fried ice cream, but for the benefits of television, I will allow you the opportunity to watch proper failure. Yeah, what the hell? I don't feel safe at the moment. Oh, don't talk crap, man, please. I'm serious. No, what do you because mean you you're looking for shit with him. You were looking for trouble. No, I, 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 was, I was starting to apologize. <laughs> The ice cream's gone to pieces, a little like the host. I've had enough. Good night. Good night, hard attempts. Let's get it over with. Dessert, a ball of fury and cream. Sorry, fet cook and ice cream. <laughs> Looks like a baked potato. Yeah. Um, can I have that? Can I have yours? No, no, no. Not because you're going to put anything... Because you've got more sauce, baby. I'm so hungry. This one's a little bit burnt, so I'll take <laughs> your steaks so. Appreciate your comments. I might not be a cactus expert, but I know a prick when I see one. But your Facebook is not done, it's straight over. Could this man stop moaning? Mm -mm. Does he have happiness in his heart, or is he so broken that he needs to bring everything down? What kind of man puts a worm in another man's food? Hey, hey, hey! Taxes! The food really wasn't up to par, so for that I'll give him a 45. Sorry, Martin. A six. I'm gonna score you a two. So Hebrews foul play and Martin's mediocre meal has left him scoring a sorrowful 13. It's day four and someone is ashamed. You know, last night I was the one that started off, you know, caused actually the whole night, kind of, to didn't work out perfectly for Martin. Um, I feel very bad about it. He never complained, and he tried very hard to be a good host. And for that, I'm gonna change my score and give Martin a four. Oh, how very generous. A score of 15 still isn't gonna win the competition. The damage is done now. There's gonna be a little bit of tension there, I think. We made friends. So tonight, 
we're going to be even Steven again. I'm hoping for his own safety and sense that he is a well-behaved, well-mannered Jabba the Hutt tonight. We'll probably end up being best buddies after the show. That's unlikely. The last host is Debbie. Phillips? After last night, I think I can win it. Well, you're going to need everyone to behave and for your menu to be a hit. First dish, sushi. I've got no problem with sushi, as long as, A, it isn't prepared by Tamron or, frankly, me, because I suck at that, too. As long as there's rice around it, it's fine. Oh, there'll be rice! When you make sushi rice, you've got to constantly stir it until all the water's gone, and then um, you've got to add your rice vinegar. That's right. Well remembered! A mixture of rice wine vinegar and brown sugar creates the perfect sushi rice. Next job is a 70s-inspired main. Fondue with beef, chicken goujons, cabanossi and crumbed mushrooms. Served with sauces... I don't know what goujons is. Chicken goujons. It's a posh way of saying chicken nuggets. Chicken goujon. Chicken goujon. That's the kind of thing where you have a fondue and then before you know it's a swingers party. Don't tempt her! You know, it could be fun, actually, to do it ourselves. Then maybe Hebe won't be complaining it's not cooked or something because he'll be the one cooking it. I wouldn't bank on it. There's a trio of desserts, panna cotta, cheesecake and bar one spring roll. Panna cotta is... A, I think it's a meringue. Oh, no, that's pavlova. Panna cotta is a cheese. It's a cheese, I think. And panna cotta... That's just cheese. <laughs> That a panna cotta. Half a cup of milk. That's not milk, and panna cotta isn't cheese. It's an Italian dessert and means cooked cream. To make this first pud, Debbie mixes gelatin, cream, and amarula brandy. She'll put them in the fridge until they're ready to serve. Mm, cream, cream, cream. Oop, now let's hope that sets. If Debbie made all of this, I'll be impressed. That'll be a first. So simple to cook. 20 minutes at the micro. <laughs> oh, nuke it. The sun is setting. The host has finished prepping. It's showtime. It actually has been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I did take my Xanax this morning, but it still wasn't that easy. Maybe Martin has taken a chill pill to face Hebrew tonight. Hello, favourite. Hello, my baby. Well, at least they're happy to Hello see each you? other. Um, I will not let... The, the whatever of yesterday affect tonight so that I won't put bad juju on the, the mix of things. I'm here to help you win this. Here's the troublemaker himself, Hebrew. Very eager guest. Oh, hello, Hebrew. Hi. Welcome Hi. to my humble abode. Now to test Martin's resolve. No, I'm going to give you a hug. You're going to give me a hug? I'm going to give you a hug. Why are you going to give me a hug? Because I feel bad and I need to, you know, uh, I'm going to get emotional tonight okay. if I don't do that. I tell you what, how's about we start with a handshake? And if you pass the test, we'll have a hug later. <laughs> I'll go for that. Thanks. Thank you. Martin still got it out for Hebrew, eh? Hey? Little regardless of what he says, um, he makes little biting comments. Last in the font of no knowledge, Tamron. Hello, Hello. What are gonjons? Chicken goujon. Oh. If I ever have children, I am educating them at home. Valid point. In the kitchen, Debbie begins on her sushi. I don't know how I'm going to do with an audience, hey, but anyway... Let's just have a drink just first. Just have a drink first, yeah. Pressure's on, Debbie. Anything to say, Hebrew? Normally they fold it, eh, when they break it. Yeah. This was him being annoying. This was him being Hebrew. No, what I'm going to do with a knife is like dip it in the water and then let the water, keep the knife up and let the water run so on the blade. It's just impressive when they do it. Is it? OK. Uh, I okay. think we should leave Debbie to do this and uh, let her rather tell us what she's doing rather than us tell her what she should be doing. Oh. My king clip was good in the end. Okay. In the end, what? Put in the microwave, marinated, <laughs> air dried for a few days. <laughs> no. Kidding. You did a better job Frankly, than me. I just, my hearing just goes when Martin talks. I'm just oh, really? like... So those big words I use. He was making jokes that weren't funny. He likes to go on to a rant. Well, Russian like... vodka, formulaiva, exclusiva, el blorado con finissimo alcoholis de cereales. <laughs> this is not bad. This is very really light, actually. It's, it's from Argentina. No, no, no. no it's... Someone save her from herself. <laughs> 
He's not funny. That sounds hectic, but he's not funny. This teacher clearly never learns from her mistakes. I'm gonna have to have a lot of this to survive him tonight. Oh, Ooh -ha. Not a moment too soon, sushi is served. Thank you. This looks beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Um, All happy? There's one of your hairs here, man. Not you again. That's a dark hair, though. Oh. No, I'm worried. No, no, no. If you want to pick for faults, like he did, there we go. It's microscopic! Do you think you find faults or faults find you? Because you're the only one who's led with negativity at any dinner in any form. He picked for everything. It's just always when you eat sushi, you, you get the tint of vinegar. In your eyes, which I didn't pick up. I think he wants to be like a flipping center of attention or something, and he thinks screwing everybody else's nights up makes him look better. Actually, Hebrew, I did expect you to give me criticism. Don't no. worry, the main meal's coming, I expect more. Dessert's coming, I'm I expect ten you. times more. I doubt it, darling, I doubt it. I'm gonna surprise you. Because he thinks he's a food critic, he's nothing. Do you get paid to make food criticisms? No. Then you're just a moaning individual. Until you're no, paid no, 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 to no. make criticism. There's a reason why I've got this physique. With diabetes? No. <laughs> Hebrew is very forthcoming with that. He will tell the host exactly what he feels, which I think you should. If you don't like something, you should say exactly how you feel. Can I ask you, David, to just, just clean them a little bit? Um, sure. can, I, can I do them, please? Sure, please? Please. I've had a bit of practice cleaning please. things for you. He intentionally found fault. You could be a hell of a nice person, but you're making yourself out to be the biggest prick walking this earth because you've not had anything, anything nice to say about anybody. And every single person here has said something nice about you. Okay. So that makes you a what? Cactus plant. I think Martin is backing me up tonight. Or else, he's just setting me up, but I think he's backing me up. Because your behaviour sucks, that dude. Warrant? If this was my house and you were here dining with me, I would frog march you outside. Do you understand me? I get you loud and clear. Frog march you. <laughs> and you know what, little sweetie? Don't you come with your little laughter and tears. You're a muppet. And if you want to sit inside with this, you could, I would walk you out of here too. You're not even funny and you're a comedian! You're not intelligent and you want to be a teacher. While we're all fighting, can we all drink, please? It's going from bad to worse. Yeah, I don't think drink will ease this atmosphere. Maybe the main can bring back some harmony. Fondue with homemade garlic, cheese, teriyaki and pepper sauce. And peach and rice salad. Put your raw meat on your plate. Yeah, okay. Put your sauces on your plate. Yeah, How bro? do I know when it's cooked? Yeah, it's your choice. Oh, yeah. I love these. It tastes like chicken nuggets. It tasted like fried nuggets. It was the most amazing thing. Honestly, it's probably the best, best main I've had. What a refined palate. With the mood lightened by the food, Debbie seizes her chance to inject some fun into the night. Let's see. Look at me, Layla. No, I no, no. Pull it down in the front. Si, si, senora. Hello. My name's Layla. Hello. That's Hello, Layla. What is your name? My name? <laughs> She's a naughty Natalie. I loved being Lila. It was so nice having this different hair on me. It tastes very good on my palate. <laughs> is fondue traditionally Italian? I do a Russian accent, but do I think I'm Italian? Does Tamarin even know where Russia is? Bring forth the desserts. Bar one spring roll, cheesecake and panna cotta. And a peace treaty. Can we have a mutual understanding? <laughs> From this moment forward, we'll be relaxed. Is that yes. easier? Yes. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. I appreciate that. Do you the same? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this thing Amen. is... Amen. I'm not friends with Martin. He'll never be my friend. I'm, I'm not going to leave this conversation with his number in my phone because it will never happen. We are not just friends. I think we are good buddies. What planet is he on? Had aliens abducted the real Hebrew over the past two nights? Still, at least this Hebrew's keeping quiet for once. 
Okay. I like the cheesecake. Mmm. Mm. It's not sweet, it's that... Cheesy yeah. and buttery. Mm. Mm. It's been um, four long nights, but we got to the end of it. And amazingly, you escaped unscathed. Final scores, please. Yeah, her food was delicious, so that's why I'm giving her an eight. Debbie, you didn't make me feel at home. And you didn't... I didn't experience your culinary skills. So for that, I'm giving you a six. With Debbie's point score currently at 14, Martin would have to give her a hefty score to win. Otherwise, Hebrew will bag the cash. And look what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Fourth place is Tamron. I knew it. Tamron. I came last, but I knew it was coming. In third place is Marty Mas Marty. And that means it's between Hebrew and me. Winner is. You must have given her uh, full marks. Nine out of ten. Nine. Thank you. Oh, that was all the lips. She was the winner. It's not enough for a boob job, but it sure makes him look impressive right now.